Many businesses have begun to reopen in Ocean City. Amusement parks on the boardwalk are still waiting for the green light. Brian Hartley is vice president of Playland's Castaway Cove and joins us now. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Jim. How are you? I'm doing very well. So have you gotten any timeline or guidance from the state on when the amusement park will be able to reopen? Well, we've had some talks with the governor's office and uh, we're hopeful in the next week or two that we're going to have some updated news. We've started gearing the rides up and trying to get our staff in here and train. So we're hopeful there's an announcement that hopefully will be coming shortly, but uh, nothing definitive yet. So how are you getting ready for a potential reopening other than the training? Well, obviously we've got to start to get the equipment ready. Training's a big part of it. Hiring, we've lost a lot of staff that mm -hmm. uh, you know have gone out and found some other jobs due to the fact that we haven't been able to give them an opening date. We had some J1 students that are no longer coming. So the hiring's become a, a big crunch trying to get kids in here and get training going. but getting the rides up and running, trying to figure out what our guidelines are going to be as far as social distancing and what things we may need to do, you know, is going to be a big problem. So we're, we're waiting for that guidance from the state. We're hopeful to get everything in place to keep our guests and our staff as safe as possible. Are you taking any preliminary steps and putting any precautions into place when people return? I mean, do you kind of have a feeling based on what other businesses are, are being required to do? Sure, we expect there's going to be some sort of capacity issue, whether it's 25 or 50 percent. We've installed hand sanitizing stations at all entrance and exits of every ride, as well as throughout the park. Uh, we've, you know, put dots down to keep social distancing in queue lines and in public areas. Uh, but anything else that's more specific, we're looking for that guidance from the state so we can implement that plan as soon as possible. So you've got the uh, go-karts and the mini golf. They're big draws for me whenever I'm there in your area. Uh, they were allowed to reopen about two weeks ago. Have been people been stopping by for those activities? Yeah, they've actually been very busy. Uh, given the fact that there's no amusement parks, no water parks, arcades, you know, they've really seemed to uh, gone down to the golf and go-karts and not just ours, but all the ones on the boardwalk here. You know, so that's been good for business. It's helped a lot of the retail and the food because without the entertainment a couple weeks ago, it was really difficult to keep any sort of holding power here at nighttime. You know, yeah. by 830, it was kind of slow. Now we're seeing that it's it's ticking up. People are staying longer. There's a little more uh, stuff for them to do. So it's been a good thing for everybody all around. What do you think is the biggest challenge uh, going ahead on this? Well, I think it's definitely trying to get the guidelines. And, you know, capacity issues for us are going to be a big issue. Uh, you know, we see large crowds, and it's going to be hard to try to figure out how many people do we let in and do we have this large line of people that are waiting out on the boardwalk to try to get into here as, as people are leaving. So it's going to be difficult, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, you know, I'm hoping that people will realize that no matter what we do, it's going to be as safe as we can possibly make it. Uh, everything we rely on in our industry is based around safety and, you know, customer satisfactory uh, issues. So. That's our biggest thing, and, and hopefully people will return to Ocean City and they'll have a great time. Well, Brian, we wish you luck. Brian Hartley, Vice President of Playland's Castaway Cove. Uh, good luck. Hope the summer goes well for you, sir. Thanks, Jen. Thanks for having me. My pleasure.